so dr adelaide desa didi um she is retired she is a retired associate professor of mathematics um, after having a service of 37 years uh, in st agnes college autonomous college mangaluru currently she is uh, sharing the content of uhp with all the students of uh, the center for pg studies in the same college um currently uh, that is activity which she is doing and for personal transformation she is attending the almost all the weekly meetings of the western region from june 2020 and the morning sessions from january uh, 12 2021 so with this brief introduction i uh, welcome adelaide ji for the sharing in the morning session didi over to you thank you namaste sunil bhaiya namaste sharmila didi and namaste all my brothers and sisters thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my findings and um, um, my reflections on exercises 1 and 2 as introduced yes i am i have retired since one year from st agnes college mangaluru i am the widow of a, a captain herman maxim desa and mother of two children kripa she is dr kripa now doing her md in general medicine in aj hospital in mangaluru and my son prasad who, who has just finished his btech in electrical and electronics from nit karnataka suratkal again near mangaluru so they are with me uh, in my journey of um, uh, self exploration they are very much uh, uh, support for me and uh, with them i try the whether my exploration how my exploration is going about now i find that uh, our house is uh, very peaceful now i know because i am not reacting much i must be responding i asked my daughter did you see any difference in me uh, she said uh, you have become bold i liked it and um, they are able to for me they are able to express whatever they want in the family and they don't get much agitated earlier uh, there could have been agitations and uh, i could recognize that they are not feeling comfortable it is not that they want to make me feel uncomfortable they weren't comfortable so i would look at their reaction and i could uh, feel their uncomfortableness and uh, help in them feeling comfortable later on they would come and say mom sorry uh, you were the best mom that that is one way of saying that i have uh, been okay so now my journey continues now my understanding regarding exercises 1 and 2 i uh, yes i am observing uh, throughout the day in the sense and uh, not that i, I am um, observant every second but i know when i am not observant i when i have gone into the um, have fallen into the river of that uh, uh, confusion and uh, my thoughts and uh, because that is the time when i have lost connection with the present especially during uh, our family prayers uh, 
suddenly the connection would be lost. But I, I may be reciting the prayers, but I know that I have not been in the prayers, but I have been somewhere oh, the happenings of the day or in the anxiety of the future. Now I try to be as much as possible in the present and I am understanding the prayers that we are uttering. The prayers that we are uttering is are very much in line with natural acceptance. You can verify for yourself because during those prayers, there is no um, agitation inside. There is no feeling opposition inside. Because so, uh, we are saying, give me this, give me that, according to our givers. We don't say give me, give us the whole world. They are setting up that uh, uh, coexistence. Everybody, that we need each other, that we need each other's uh, feelings of relationship and we want to be in harmony. So give us help. Help us to get that help. Give us that uh, calmness, peace. That means lead me to that harmony. The self, um, I can understand those pray um, prayers are very much a help for us to remain in the present, to get that um, harmony and to feel the a relationship with each other. Okay? I observed myself day before yesterday when we had to go for a picnic of the senior citizens. I told the organizer, uh, give me a role of the attender to give get something or uh, to shift things here and there to say, distribute certain things. All that I said. I I selected this role because then I can reach out to people. I can meet people because they are all senior citizens, and I'm I may be the uh, I may be the one among the most juniors because I'm just sixty one. They are all elder to me. It was nice. I when I went, I was observing myself whether I'm seeking. Uh, feelings of relationship from others, whether I'm seeking respect, whether I'm seeking attention. No, this time it was not that. I'm not seeking attention. I am feeling related towards everybody. I felt related throughout the day. I did not go there to become happy. I was happy and I went to went for that. And um, I could speak to all and I observed whether I am seeing them uh, just by their physical appearance. No, I am seeing something beyond the physical appearance. Uh, I can see the way they are feeling inside maybe that way and how I am also feeling throughout the day. Uh, I There was no craving for food. There was no craving for others to appreciate me, nothing of that sort. Towards the end, when there was half an hour, I observed that there is a litter of uh, uh, paper um, plates maybe or um, chocolate papers maybe, such things are there. And uh, suddenly it appeared to me, how can we leave the place like this and go back? I wanted to pick up papers. There are a lot of them. Whether I could finish all I was thinking, I just whispered in the ears of an elderly lady. And she at once started picking up. Oh, that was one boost. And I started picking up and I could finish the whole, um, uh, I could clean the whole ground. It was very nice uh, to look at when we came back. Again, I was thinking, am I seeking respect from others? Am I seeing that uh, all will look at me and say I am good? No, it wasn't our, am I feeling shy to go and pick up? No, that was also not there. Uh, it was quite natural for me to go and pick up. And uh, finally, when it, everything looked nice, there was a feeling of uh, satisfaction. And uh, at, uh, uh, wherever they were seated, they gave me, picked up things from there itself, though it was difficult for them. They are elderly. 
but it was nice. And um, now, well, for me, uh, when uh, I see the negative, uh, a negative, uh, I won't call it negative. I see the um, feelings of disharmony coming inside me. Um, the, at that moment, I can see. Uh, but still, um, if the if the situation is not very serious, I can uh, uh, tell myself I can come back to harmony uh, within within very few seconds, and I don't I don't show it outside that I am in disharmony. Neither do I keep inside also. And from inside, I come to harmony, and then I deal with others. However, if the situation is grave, like I'll tell you, um, the other day I had um, some uh, skin irritation and that skin irritation uh, with a small spot, it uh, started becoming a little bigger and bigger. And my daughter was saying, go show the uh, dermatologist. And I neglected for some time. And then when I went and showed, they said uh, the biopsy has to be done. At once, fear set in. I know. And the fear was to that extent uh, that I started thinking, oh, then I may be having that terminal illness. Now I started uh, listing, uh, bucket listing I started. Then uh, I thought of all those difficult moments from current date to the day of leaving the body. Oh, all that. All that frightened, uh, frightened me, but still I was trying to uh, bring it to bring myself to that calm state or the harmony state. No, I couldn't come. I was uh, thinking all the days of uh, when the uh, when uh, things um, when the sample had gone for biopsy. Then I called Umesh Bhaiya and told him. Then he clearly told me this is an indication that you are still assuming that you are your your body itself. So this body is not so permanent and, um, uh, oh, okay, okay. And um, let, when the things come, let us see. Now nothing has come, no. Oh, correct. This I'm overthinking also. So much of overthinking has done, has been done. And my son could observe in me, Mama, you are not the normal self. Why are you talking like this? Why don't you go and see what your report is? Finally, the... I was relieved only when the report came totally negative. There isn't anything. It is all um, my, um, let's say, um, it is all uh, more uh, psychosomatic. It is all my anxiety that has um, given uh, um, rise to all those itchings and all. So uh, now I know uh, such a um, uh, disturbing uh, situation or uh, disturbing thoughts, disturbing feelings uh, are there in me. Those samskars are there in me. Deep samskars are there in me. In a way, I thanked. I was thankful because I know that such a samskar exists in me and I have to work on that. Saying the body can be uh, body is mortal and uh, body can go uh, have changes at any time, I'll have to accept it. That means I have to develop that much of harmony, understanding and accepting the changes when they occur. Right now, I'm healthy. So again, again, all that bucket list got dissolved. I, I That day I wanted to finish this. I wanted to finish that. Again, so there is procrastination still alive in me, so much alive in me. I can do things only when there is a pressure for me to finish it. Otherwise, I procrastinate. Why do I procrastinate? I saw why I'm pro procrastinating. Because I feel that work is tough. I don't want to do it. Finally, I realized that I don't want to work only. Any task puts me Ah, this is not correct. I have to work. When I'm doing the work, I have to enjoy the work and do it. Do it. In the sense, I should know. For that, I realize that 
uh, there is no gratefulness in me. For my existence, I'm not done anything. Every everything is as if it is kept ready for me. In this is coexistence. Everybody is there just to help, just to help each other to obtain the to feel that uh, happiness in coexistence and that harmony in coexistence. This I realized when I went to the bank. So many, my my name is misspelled. My name is uh, 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 so many. Uh, it is different in different documents. So I had to do the notary in uh, note and then go there to the bank. I went there with the pres presumption that these uh, uh, clerks may not understand my situation. These uh, may not work well. All that. So there was no gratefulness in me. So whatever the clerk was asking, manager was asking, I was very cautious to answer. I was in opposition within myself. But that opposite, when I told him, no, this is, she's there to help me. And I have to think, to say things clearly. And there came that harmony within me and the um, feeling of relationship slowly set in. By the end of that visit uh, of a, uh, half an hour or one hour, I was really feeling uh, grateful to everybody, not only that particular manager, but to everybody. And in my next visit, I as I entered the bank itself, I saw that I'm going with gratefulness. I'm being grateful to whole banking system. I'm being grateful to every employee in the bank. And there, my visit was very comfortable for me. So and this much, I have put the things together. Uh, I'm saying my um, my observe, observation of the self by the self and my observation of the body by the self uh, together. And it is time also. And my uh, regarding my um, participation, uh, I will do step by step. I am, I am learning my scriptures also, in order to, and I have recognized, identified um, the um, values, universal values, as mentioned in Christianity, uh, and how to keep them, um, how to relate them one to the other from universal human values and from Christianity. That is, that I am doing, uh, still in my mind it is, uh, I, I, one day, I am, I, I am very sure that one day I will be able to uh, put it in, uh, put it, put it in a complete note also. And that is there. And, uh, um, yes, I have, uh, mentioned things i suppose uh, i am grateful to all mentors in the uh, in our group of volunteers all mentors and all volunteers who are uh, uh, working towards obtaining excellence and um, yes with that shall i stop and um, thank I think a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, from earlier sharings, if I can see, a lot of times um, I could see that uh, shifting back and forth to um, your background in the religion and um, comparison with the UHV. And now more and more I'm seeing um, your um, looking within and um, expressing your uh, understanding of things, you know, as you are going along. And a lot of nice examples you were able to share. I mean, uh, seeing this, um, um, you know, having a better relationship with your children trying to stay in the present, you know, when you are working with others also, 
you're able to see that when you're having that feeling of relationship, the work outside also happens more spontaneously, more easily, without any issues. But to be able to notice that earlier there was a feeling of opposition for so many of these times, or, you know, like your incident in the bank, um, how when you have feeling of opposition and you're feeling uncomfortable and then you're able to see it and change it and you're able to notice the peace, the you know comfort within, all of that is uh, very commendable that uh, you know your observation is becoming more and more, there's more clarity with that in you. Now I think it is time also to go further into deeper into seeing the sanskars. Um, I think you know if for all of us the journey is like that. You know, you start with just the thoughts, then the feelings, then you know, deeper and deeper you are able to switch or have the right feeling. You are able to notice the harmony, and then you know. Sometimes we notice that even though I seem to know this, again, my feeling goes back to one of, like you mentioned, fear, anxiety when it comes to the body. So now this sanskar, you know, of assuming I am the body, this is something that we all begin with. And um, similarly, you know, more and more of these sanskars we'll be able to see. Of course, this is at the root of many other sanskars. So you'll be able to see layers and layers and layers inside um, as we keep observing. And ultimately, again, going back and referring to the natural acceptance, seeing things, you know, from there. So all of that is quite visible in your sharing. And um, I think... Um, if you can continue this, it will be very good. And I can see the uh, sincere commitment to all of this because we see you regularly in the sessions. You may not ask questions very often, but we can see that you're, um, you know, from your pairings and from your presence in the morning sessions, uh, your commitment. So all the very best in your future journey also. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Sharmila Didi. I am exploring. Yes. Every yeah. outside. Uh, yes. Every outside situation, I uh, take with the gratitude only because it is um, either um, uh, confirming that I I have uh, understood little things. Or it is telling me what uh, uh, go search for your uh, samskar which is uh, troubling you now. Yes. 